up with that turnip. You know, you might pick up a stone and you hit it, and it has a nice tone, but you wouldn't think of it as an instrument. But once you have like 40 of them, which makes an instrument, then you realize there actually is something. The, part, the whole is much bigger than some of the parts, right? It's like, you know, um, so each little part, each little bar, it's not that big a deal, but if you arrange them and, uh, you know, tune them all so they all go along with each other, that's kind of, it comes together in an interesting way. Yeah. It's not something which is artificial or something made, you know, it's something which you can kind of, it's like the earth in some sense, you know, it's something which, again, people could have heard or made, you know, thousands of years ago, you know, it's not like an electric guitar in that sense, you know, an electric guitar is very much a machine, you know. So this, this kind of instrument is more um, basic in a way, I would say, you know you know, simpler, more elemental. If you look at the most of the ones on the web, they actually, you can use like stones, like actual stones you can pick up off the ground. And um, so I started doing that and then I had a hard time tuning them because they're so irregular. So I thought I got to, I mean, something more regular. So I saw somebody had a YouTube video in which they use granite, like countertops. I thought I'll try doing that. The first step is just to cut them into rectangles, like bars, like this. And then um, once you've cut a lot of these, then you just sort of um, cut them and adjust the length so that it's the right pitch and then that kind of takes a long time because um, you just have to be careful and make sure it's the right pitch if it's too low of course you cut more off and if it's too high then you can't make it lower so you just have to go for the next pitch that's it it's very simple actually i got this email from this fellow in france saying that um he's looking for lithophones and you know how do i get one i said no i'll make one for you and um so that was a lot of fun, and I, it was the first one I actually sold. I actually sold it to him, so, and now he's renting out to lots of orchestras and stuff. So the fact that it was used in a, um, an actual orchestra performance, that's a pretty nice thing, because I only started making them a few years ago. So to go from like a hobby to actually it being legitimized on the concert stage is nice. So it feels like the validation thing. <laughs> you know, I do political science and game theory and whatever, and, you know, in terms of my research, you know, the time period between, you know, some little thing I'm flip fooling around with on my desk versus publication and then, then the next step, which maybe actually somebody will actually use it. You know, the probability that happening is actually pretty low, you know. Most academics don't do things that will actually be used right away in the real world. So it's nice to have something in which, you know, you've done something which, and if you feel it's a contribution which is actually people are using and it's helpful for other people.